Hello and welcome back to some more Civilization 5 Brave New World. We're gonna be starting a new playthrough of this game on a large map playing on continents with Maria the First of Portugal on King Difficulty. Last time I tried, the new expansion made me go cry in a corner. But I've adapted to the changes in the game and I think I can do better now. So, let's get into this and see how this goes. We're not gonna focus on tourism from the start, we're gonna focus on economy. And then we'll switch to tourism later on. Somewhat. And feel free to listen to the intro. Well, we load. To preserve the integrity of Portuguese rule. Despite struggling with illness throughout your reign, your efforts to ensure Portugal's close cooperation with Brazil are credited with helping that state gain its eventual independence. And for this, you will always be admired and respected by the people of both nations. O oh, noble and pious queen, will you once again guide the kingdom? Damn. Yes, very cute. Okay. Alright, so we have some forests, which is really good. That is a forest as well. Good, good, good. We have our some luxuries, which is of course pretty much uh, a given. Okay, let's see. I think that my approach to things is going to be pretty simple, actually. We're going to go pottery writing, then we're going to go up to bronze working, and then we're going to pop iron working, and we're going to build the Colossus, which will give us two early wonders, and this will allow us to get a naval trade route going pretty damn quickly, which will boost our economy, because Portugal gets a lot of bonuses based off of trade routes and resource diversity between cities. As such, we are going to be focusing trade right from the early game to boost our uh, economy. Because there's two mistakes I made with my Shoshone playthrough. I focus too much on culture and I focus too little on military. Both of which cost us the game. We also have marble, which is good. We'll start with... Hmm, is there anything I want here? Yes, a free worker. Yeah, let's start. We can do the beginning exploration with a beginning warrior. We'll build some more stuff later on. And normally we would want people to be far away from us, but this, with this strategy, it would be good if we had one neighbor nearby with naval access with whom we could trade right from the very outset, especially if they kept the sea zones free of barbarians. Also, I'll try to build two or three warriors just for the capital to defend it from any barbarian incursions. We'll have to rush to the great Damn it, I'm a dumbass. That's entirely the wrong tactical. I mean, yes, we will need it, but no, we should start with pottery. Whoops. Anyway, we're gonna rush to Great Library, we're gonna chop it out, use chopping to help build it, and then we are gonna go straight for building the Colossus and by the time we finish Great Library we should hopefully have bronze working finished so we can pop what we want properly. We might have to screw around with it some but in order to get that but we should be able to get it. That's our rush. Getting to iron working and Colossus and at that point we should be pretty well set up and if we need to fight then uh, Iron and Swordsman goes a long way as well for that. 
Ah, some free culture, excellent, which means we'll be able to pop straight into the what you call it? It's Liberty Tree, I think it was. Which is good. There we go. And then we'll pop up a worker. We're gonna take our time with expanding settler wise. Because frankly there's not much need. Okay, and the ground around our main city looks pretty sweet. It's uh, not necessarily the very best, but it's pretty damn good. For one thing, we have four forest tiles. Oh, it wants to pop the marble first, but we'll want to buy or expand to some of these forest tiles. Because we will be chopping down those forests in order to get the Great Library as soon as possible. And I'm gonna be a bit more conservative on buildings, or I'm gonna try to be, because, well, um, buildings cost stuff. And, I mean, yeah, again, another thing, I focus too much on units. Sorry, too much on buildings, too little on units, and I got screwed. Oh. Oh, this bastard. Oh, shit. I said I wanted a neighbor, and it's good that he's there. It just sucks that he's Attila. That's all I'm saying. I would prefer someone a little less batshit crazy. We might be in for early war, which means that after iron working, we are pushing towards archery, quite likely. I'm gonna keep exploring with scouts pretty soon, and I think it's time I brought that warrior home. And put him somewhere where he can be nice and safe-like. We'll also want to improve some of this land when we can, but... Well, 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 well. Frankly, there's not that much of a rush for the worker, is there? I will build a shrine. I think. Sure, we'll pick one up. We won't be able to do much with them, but we can at least... Which tiles are you working? That and the, this, right? Well, I can improve the sheep with a farm, which will turn it into a two food, two production tile, which will be freaking amazing, really, for this early in the game. And that should be a good start. Yeah, I'm gonna build a shrine so that we start picking, working our way towards the Pantheon. Some basic bonuses would be good, like, for example, the stuff that gives culture from plantations would be pretty beneficial here. And I can't build a farm here, can I? Oh shit, do I... Huh. Well, that is deeply uncool, isn't it? Well then, just sit in the city for now, I suppose. You can sit on top of that, I, s I guess. We'll park a warrior on top of him so he feels nice and safe, and that should be okay-ish. Wonder where it's gonna pop next. And you're gonna head for that particular thingy next. Okay, so after we pick up the shrine, we'll be ready to... Huh. Yeah, I think we'll be okay with a single warrior for now. We don't need another unit just yet. Can't, can you? Not on top of special resources. Well, shit, son, that sucks. Okay. After we start building the Great Library, we're gonna have to push towards the bronze working tech pretty quickly, I think, because we're gonna start... Uh... Ah, easy. I guess she's not too bad, although she can be a bit batshit crazy as... Well... 
under the right circumstances, at least, I mean, I'm playing someone who's very much like her, from that region and all that, well, at least I'm not Native American, so we're a bit safer from easy, I feel, still. Oh, and that's actually a good place for second city. And then, yeah, we want to spread out across the coastline so that we can A, control said coastline and B, trade along that coastline. And that would be very good. If we could discover Izzy down here, then, I mean, we could kill Attila, right? Eventually. And we could trade with Izzy, we could keep her close. And an early war would boost our economy under the right circumstances pretty significantly. Right, in order to start chopping that, we are gonna need the mining. Which we'll still need getting. Ooh, shit on a stick. Well, that's not good. But they're getting shot at. Let me guess. That's where... No, that's a city-state. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we're one turn away from writing. Let's actually queue it up like this. And then we can do this. Uh, yeah, let's just... No, let's just head up like this. That'll be fine. And we're just gonna chop the forests. We'll gonna chop all of them down. We need to save the hammers there. So, that's what we're gonna do. go for. We're gonna save the hammers instead of uh, aiming for future upgrades or any such thing. Because, you know, that's pretty cool. Okay, Attila has the highest bloody happiness. Well, he can choke on it. Yeah, that would give us more production, unfortunately. Eh. That's much later on, and frankly, I don't really care that much. Alrighty. Just I'm gonna automate it at some point, I suppose, but for now I'll bring it up across the coastline here and see what's on this side. I mean, we have enough good spots for colonizing in the future. And start working on that. Also, citizen management, production focus. Thank you! 31 turns. That's significantly better than it was before. Which is good, because we don't want to miss out on this one. It's kind of what our strategy is built around, getting this. Or starting strategy. If I fail it, I'll just have to adapt, but it would be unpleasant. And we are getting this. We need 25 for a pantheon, though, which is a lot. Survivalism. Oh, I don't think I really want to be there. Let's leave. Okay, that's almost done, so we'll be able to start chopping down some trees. And we'll be able to actually buy another tree tile if we need to. Mm, yes, please, we'll work our way up to a second city eventually like that. That'll be fine too. You. Three turns for the chop. Buy another one there. Oh, and it's up to 24 turns. Good. And 11 turns for bronze working. Excellent. And you will heal here before you move on, just in case. Okay, so making progress, making progress. I think we did a pretty decent start out of the gate towards the Great Library. We'll get our second city through the culture thing. It's just gonna take a while. And, well, yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that because we'll be building wonders in our main city, but trust me, it'll work out fine. We will need to kill this barbarian, especially since Mulan desires a trade route, and we'll have to set some ships to patrolling, just in case shit goes bad. But, that trade route, once we manage to get it set up, will go a long way. 
sure we can do embassies and you're all the way down here so Lisbon probably won't reach but if we plop a city somewhere like here it probably will eventually which would be pretty fine and you keep on chopping that should be fine as well uh, done 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 I guess everyone has that means everyone has writing at this point right All righty, 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 right. Anyway, yeah, let's continue. Sorry, I was disturbed. It's um, most of the time the people I share this apartment to realize that I'm not to be disturbed during recording, but exceptions do on occasion happen, and they have. Well, it's uh, circumstances beyond my control, really, so. And would that barbarian just die? Let's move here. Okay, looks like it looks pretty good as far as our chances for. Oh, hello. And who the fuck are you? Oh. Ah, uh, Austria. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I want to move across here and uh, plop a city right next to the silk and the citrus here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So there would have to be another city in the middle to tie everything together, but that would give me bases on both sides of the continent, which would be extremely good for my trade network eventually. And I'm really liking this idea. I need to scout out to know what's going on here so that I can uh, plan it out, but yes, that does seem... Oh, and she's right there. Hmm. Actually, that makes it an even better idea to plop a city right here the moment we get that policy, because, well, we'll be able to trade with her pretty quickly if we move our uh, trade boat over to there. So. I'm thinking we'll actually be doing that. We'll be moving settler over there and plopping city right here on this hill. Or maybe down here. Probably on that hill. And that will give us access to more luxuries which will in turn help. Of course. Can't buy that tile just yet but that's fine. Okay, five turns away. That's perfectly fine and legit. Provided I get to there first, of course. There's another luxury which I don't have here, but that's um, a little less of a priority, I would say. Don't have animal husbandry yet. I could go there and plop. Well, yeah, we're working that anyway, so let's go and put a mine there. Just... Well, that's unfortunate. We're gonna have to escort that settler very carefully. Okay, we're gonna be near a lot of people who are gonna be slightly mad at us very quickly. So, at the very least, we'll want basic archery. So, let's pick that up right now. So, we're a little bit safer there. Just so. Oh, and I can't? Huh, that's fucked up. Alright, fine, I guess we're not mining sheep then. Jeez. Alright, alright, alright. I think I should be okay and I should get it because I rushed for it pretty solidly, but I can't really know, can I? Can I, can I, can I? I would really love to get the cities, but it's a really, really good spot. Hell, we would even eventually get the fish, and we would have a close-up military base against... the Austrian bitch over there as well, and it would be just so bad. Although this looks like good cities, but there, there's... We're gonna find good spots, it's just a question of which we'll take. But really, 
Doing a city right here would allow us a very, very good trading opportunity. And now we want iron working. There we go. And we're in the classical era. The first, I believe, as well. Which is just excellent. And yes, let's push for that. And after this, we're gonna pick up masonry so that we can hook up the marble and get our first real luxury resource. Because that's gonna help as well. Pretty significantly, in fact. And here we have Tavira. I would love to pick up Mount Sinai for the religious points, but it's not a huge priority, to be honest. We can make do without it. Really. I would prefer to have it, but uh, I'm good either way, to be honest. The trading post spot right here, though, that would be extremely useful to pick up. In all honesty, it would be extremely, extremely useful. Especially since Attila's court is not on the coast and Madrid is so far down. Really, trading with Vienna is the best option I think I have available right now. So, that is what we are gonna push for. Fortunately, it will mean exposing our capital to barbarians, quite possibly, for a bit. Which I really don't like. And Lisbon wants citrus, another reason for pushing towards that particular spot on the, ma on the map. I wish I could buy this tile and chop that last forest down. Uh, yeah, but how about fuck no? Predators. Yes, this suggests that I need to have more units around here. And someone did enter the class Clara, so they could have iron working as well. And I could be in a race. Although the Colossus is not such a preferred target, to be honest, so maybe I can... Damn it, that's gonna get screwed, isn't it? I'm thinking whether I can and should wait to delay that long enough to, you know, push out a warrior, but um, frankly, I don't want to risk it. I mean, I could, but I don't want to risk it, you know? I guess I could bring down the scout, especially since I'll have to explore up this way anyway, so... Pastures, plantations. Okay, the plantations one isn't taken. Banana, citrus, and wheat. The sun god. I think that might be new. Banana, citrus, and wheat. I have a few, but not that much. One, two, three, four pastures, which are easily takeable. Hmm, so again, not that uh, convinced have a whole lot of plantations. I mean, a whole, whole lot of plantations. Is there anything else that's... Earth Mother, fate for each copper, iron and salt. Oh, that's... that would be good, but I don't... God King, palace provide... that's if we want a mega main city, right? But that's not for actual um, food. And this situation is not... This city is not that strong on other stuff, is it? Okay, so... Hmm. What do we want more? Well, we're not going to have a lot of cities and we're going to have lots of plantations, so let's pump this out. Especially since we are going to be pushing out a lot of... Uh, cultural stuff later, tourism and such, it's good to focus this kind of stuff, I think. It it should pay off in the long term. Very much so. It's gonna be tough trying to cover the capital with just one scout, but we should manage. 
for a little bit while we... Yeah, the second city is not gonna be developed for a while. It's gonna build its own monument and its own worker, I think. And then we'll start really developing it. And I, we should really build this because we'll need to be able to actually maintain a trade route. Although, no, this will give us the ability to maintain a trade route, so it's not that big a deal, but still it would be nice. Well, we'll build calendar first. And then we can worry about because we are gonna... it's gonna be a while, and the calendar we can start using right now with the worker, so... And this gives plus one production, so that's good news. How far away are you? Five tons. It should be okay. Rough terrain bonus and wait a turn to heal up. And then we're gonna wait another turn and get moving. F frankly. Because we're gonna get our settler. Uh, close enough, it's like 99, so... Yeah, it is exactly 99, so that's fine. It shouldn't be a problem there. Okay, and we're gonna need that extra luxury for the... Maintaining of this happiness for the city. And like this, and we're gonna head right for here just to set up our trading outpost. And that should be perfectly fine. Points-wise, I'm the middle of the pack, but I'm gonna jump up once I complete this wonder, and once I plop the next city, which should be perfectly fine and legit. And you just follow along as best you can. Okay, how long? Another couple of turns, then we'll get some extra production out of that. And again, things will keep on improving. After picking up well, animal husbandry and sailing, and then we're gonna push for construction for the good archers. And next we're gonna build a couple of archers for self-defense, because someone might attack us and we need to be ready. At that point, of course, we'll have enough of an economy to maintain some sort of an army. And after we have a minimal army, Enough to fend off barbarians and not too serious invasions. We'll build another city somewhere in the middle, probably on this river somewhere. And that should be fine as well. Okay, and yeah. Animal husbandry first, actually. Finish that, good, and heal these. An unmet player has entered the classical era. <laughs> no blitz, I'm so far ahead of you. Okay, so this stunt is looking significantly better. We're not wasting our economic development potential on pushing out small amounts of tourism straight away, which is very good. That was a really stupid approach I took with the Shoshone, I think. I mean, really, it... I put everything into culture, and I lost in the long term because I didn't invest in my economy, and as a result, I had no economy, and I didn't invest in my military. As a result, I had neither economy or military, and I got screwed. You know, if Izzy is not going to be useful as a trading partner, we should probably nuke her at some point for what she did to us when we played as the Shoshone. Just, you know, cause, fuck her. And it looks like we will get this as well. We're having pretty wonderful luck so far. We are losing cash though, which is less good. Okay, I think next we want a plantation to start, well, to get both extra culture and to start getting even more happiness, because that will help as well. Izzy has entered the classical era. Well, good for her. I'm gonna kill her so hard. Alright. The wheel. Do I have any use for the wheel right now? 
I really don't. I have no river cities and it's gonna be a while before I can build a road anyway, so... Before I have enough of justification for building a road anyway. So that's okay. Okay, seven turns away. Is there any way? No, it's working every bit of production it has. You know, if I chop the forest here, it might still give me a couple hammers. How far away are we? Oh, we'll see next turn. I'm willing to lose two turns on two worker turns on that if that's how it goes. Now she might be a bit pissed about this, but that will just have to do. I'm actually gonna leave the warrior right here for now. Because it'll be safer that way. Oh, that's foresty stuff. What about buying that out? Oh, I can! Excellent! Good. And next we're gonna build archers because this might make her... Oh, she wanted to settle right there, probably. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Oh, silly little nooblet. We can save, like, one turn maybe on that. Yes, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Wonder where she'll settle now. Might have to break her that promise pretty soon if she settles in a really sucky position for us. Still, it should be okay. It should be manageable, at least. I really want to control all this jungle area. Oh, she's moving up northwards, actually. Well, that's perfectly fine, then. I just want one city on this river. Say, here, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, six tiles away from my main city, which is perfectly fine. One turn away on that, which is, again, perfectly fine. Excellent. And now we're gonna build some archers say two of them okay and change home city to Porto wait 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 let's do this trade routes available so from Lisbon to Milan would be the best one by far however that won't do at all because it's just too dangerous to just asking to lose that guy to barbarians, so I'm not gonna be doing that. What I don't like is the fact that we don't seem to have any iron. We'll have to adapt, of course. I had kind of hope for better luck on that, but we can't have everything. There might be some up northwards. We'll eventually want iron for stuff like frigates, but that is a long ways off right now, so that's not that big a deal. Don't really want that. Yeah, so the wheel and construction. Sounds good. Happiness is perfectly fine. We could certainly afford another city. Not a fourth one, probably, but another one... Yeah, we could do that much. So that should be fine. And you will establish trade route with Vienna. So... Oh, they covet my lands. That sucks. Yeah, this city will, after it builds a worker for itself, it will have to build itself walls. And possibly a trireme. To fend of barbarian attacks to my trade routes. Or trade route since I only have the one, and hello, what the fuck is this bullshit? This better not be what I think it is. Please tell me they're just attacking the bloody barbarians. It's too early to come and fuck me, right? Oh, I hope it's too early to come and fuck me. Yeah, looks like a barbarian busting mission to me. Can be kind of hard to tell, though. No iron, though. Do you have iron, I wonder? Possibly not. Oh! Really? You little shit! And she plopped the city right there, which is... Okay, I suppose. We can live with that. Okay, 
So, lesson for the future. I should have been a bit faster on the building of military units. Attila, let's... Uh, Okay, so what can we do? What if I give you my... You know... Yeah. This will actually do. This will do just fine. Please attack Maria Theresa and stay the fuck away from me. Because he was totally coming to attack me. By the time he tries that again, we'll be well prepared and actually, we'll, what we can do now is once we build a few units, we can actually attack him in the flank and screw him while that is going on. And she no longer covets my lands because she's at war with that bastard. Well, that's some really successful diplomacy right there, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here and I'll see you in a bit.